Good morning, this is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Today we have another lovely patient that we're going to do cool sculpting on. So we have already done one side with cool sculpting. So the most common area where we do cool sculpting is the lower abdomen. Even with patients that do a lot of exercise, uh, they cannot lose this area. So our patient here was pregnant last year and she's been exercising aggressively. However, she does not seem to lose this area. So we typically divide the lower part into two sections, one part right here and one part right here. I'm the one who does all the drawing. The reason is because I truly believe that when a doctor does the drawing, uh, the results are better because you could apply the cool sculpting directly in the area where you need it. So what happens is that the cool sculpting goes in this area, again reminding me I've already done the right side already, uh, and it sucks in the fat and as a result uh, it's freezing the fat on the inside. Once the fat freezes over the next three months, that fat gets dissolved and is excreted out of your body. So I'm going to demonstrate how to apply the cool sculpting suction device onto the skin. I'm going to apply this cold gel onto the skin. Sorry, it's going to be cold. Sorry, it's cold. Mm -hmm. So this actually allows the, the suction to really do a good suction. We always have the bed slightly at an angle because then this allows the, the machine to really suck the area. A lot of times, uh, you know, I've heard that patients are lying flat at an angle is actually much better. Now this is my cool sculpting device. Um, now I'm going to turn on the suction. When I press this, it's going to turn on the suction. It takes about 10 minutes for the area to numb up. So now I'm going to basically put this on. One, two, three. And as you can tell, it basically sucks in the area. Now sometimes when I want to double check, uh, I actually stop the machine for a second. And I'm going to release the vacuum. And I take a look. And I do this quite a bit because I want to make sure that we are doing the correct spot. And it was actually the correct spot, so I love it. So now I'm going to turn the machine back on again. And um, we're going to apply the suction to the area again. Perfect. It sucked it in very well. I'm very happy. I know it's tight and it's squeezing. Uh, and now we're going to turn on the machine right now. We have a ducky and that we're going to put the ducky basically surrounding here. So it doesn't fall. So typically cool sculpting is used for uh, undesired areas of fat. Uh, typically takes about three months for you to see the optimal results. Patients need anywhere between one to two to three sessions. The most common side effect is just bruising in the area. It does, as you're doing the suction, it does, uh, it's not tenderness or pain, it's more of pressure. That's basically because it's pulling it up, but within 10 minutes, uh, that feeling goes away because the area becomes numb. After we're done, uh, we're going to demonstrate this one more time as I've demonstrated in my videos. It's very, very important to massage the area because that actually gives you much, much better improvement, much better results. So we just finished uh, the cool sculpting for the core areas of the abdomen. So first we're going to turn off the machine and now we're going to basically put our finger right here to release the vacuum. This is slowly, we release it slowly, slowly. Now I know you guys are going to be a little bit shocked, but what happens is that it's sucking in the area of the excess fat so it kind of looks like this now this is the most important part of the procedure right now we're going to numb the area gently you see it's pretty cold but we're going to gently numb it so the protocol is to numb this for about two minutes You're doing great, dude. You're doing good. I know it hurts a little, it hurts a little bit, a little uncomfortable. A lot of people say it actually feels good to massage this mm -hmm. afterwards. I'm just gonna massage this now for two minutes, uh, and then afterwards she's done. Um, patients could really do anything that they want to do uh, afterwards. Uh, probably take today off and take it easy, but you could go back to exercising starting tomorrow. A lot of patients ask when they can they repeat the procedure again. It's about two to three months. Optimal results, it's seen by the third month. 
Uh, typically, patients need anywhere between one to two to three sessions, three months apart, if needed. Some people could bruise here, and some people may not. Uh, the bruise may last for about a week. Um, some people could have some tingling or numbness in the area that may last just a few weeks, but it's also unusual as well. For the most part, it's actually a pretty safe procedure with a great response rate. And my patients tell me when they come here and they're relaxing for that two hours, one of the most relaxing two hours they had right. in a long time. Especially with somebody who just gave birth, you see? With here, two kids. With two kids. This is, they come here just, you know, just to chill, you know? Here we go. We're almost done, really giving this a really good massage. Okay, so we we'll massage this and now we're just gonna wrap it down. And these are my markings, the markings will be wrapped down as well. So this is it, so the patient's gonna go home, just chill and relax. Uh, basically, she can resume normal activities and normal life tomorrow. Uh, and then we're gonna see you back in two, three months. We're gonna reevaluate the area and if need so we'll do another session i always say you know do whatever you've been doing if you're still exercising you should continue to exercise uh just back to normal life thank you so much have a nice day